forest fires adversely affect the forest ecosystem natural regeneration of valuable species seeds ground vegetation is all burned dry logs trees woods are a repository of birds reptiles and other creatures and microorganisms fire incidents destroy them native species get disturbed by forest fire and species foreign to the region advent a fire protection scheme for the entire division which is consistent with the instructions given in the working plan should be prepared before the november month of each year the fire protection scheme must incorporate all necessary details such as fire protection plan necessary funds fire maps fire lines human causes of forest fire are misconception that the burning of grass will promote fresh grass growth misconception that setting of ground fire will promote fresh flush of tendu leaves setting of ground fire to clear leaf litter from mahua flower collection often reckless behavior such as unattended bonfires and throwing of smoldering cigarette butt too causes fire fire also gets ignited due to dry bamboo friction in the forest fuel heat and oxygen are three elements necessary for fire fire can be prevented or extinguished by removing any one of these three elements heat is a must for any fuel to ignite without heat fire cannot begin if heat is removed which is often done with water fire cannot continue without fuel there is no fire also in absence of oxygen fire extinguishes dry grass leaf litter and wood provide for ready fuel in case of any accidental ignition in case of a fire outbreak in young plantations lots of resources would be burned and all efforts would go waste in this depot the timber stacks are kept too close to the depot boundary where there is dry grass and bushes in case of an outbreak of fire all valuable timber is at risk as a fire management practice to stop the spread of fire fire lines must be cut fire lines are thus sufficiently broad cleared strips of land kept clean of all inflammable material so that fire cannot extend from one side to the other fire lines are of two kinds external and internal external fire lines are laid down along the external boundaries of the forests external boundaries are divisional boundaries range boundaries and boundaries adjoining non forest areas these should be within the boundaries of the forest land Internal fire lines are fire breaks running criss cross inside the forests. These may be along the section boundaries of plantations or inspection paths where one can easily reach with facility in case of an outbreak. The interior fire lines give access to control fire by counter firing. All spots from where water can be procured in case of fire should be marked on the fire map. In hilly areas fire lines are also drawn along the ridges so that fire from one side of the slope doesn't spread to the other side. Width of fire lines. Fire lines over the external boundaries of forests 12 meters. Fire lines protecting naturally regenerated areas 6 meters. Fire lines around and within plantation areas 4 meters. For remaining coop boundaries 3 meters. on both sides of roads 12 meters for timber bamboo and firewood depot 40 meters fire lines along the ridges of hilly areas 12 meters ha maja ujwa badula on my right side is a 10 hectare plantation in compartment number 66 here in 2012 we planted 2 lakh 50000 teak saplings this plantation being well protected here we can see good grass growth in the fire season in case of a fire outbreak This grass may easily catch fire and damage the entire plantation. Thus, as a preventive measure on the boundary of the plantation, we are cutting fire lines. Here we have cleared 1 and 1/2 to 2 meters guideline on both sides of the fire line. Uh, we are piling all grass cleared from the guidelines in the center of the fire line. We will burn the fire line in the month of January after all the grass dries. Sadarche Gawat हे वाढल्यानंतर याला आम्ही जानेवारी महिन्यामध्ये या ठिकाणी ही संपूर्ण जाळ दिशा जाणणार आहे ऑल ग्रास अँड श्रब्स ऑन द फायर लाईन्स मस्ट बी कट इन द मंथ ऑफ नोव्हेंबर डिसेंबर सो दॅट दे आर ड्राईन अफ फॉर बर्निंग बिफोर द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द फायर सीझन 
no tree growth should be encouraged on the fire line while cutting grass and shrubs for the fire lines it is recommended that two guidelines be cut on either side of the fire line the width of the guideline should depend upon the height of the vegetation alongside all cut material should be piled in the middle of fire line and left for drying here we are on an external fire line on both sides there are trees and bamboo clumps notice how the guidelines are being cut on both sides the cut vegetative material is piled in the middle of fire line this is the first year plantation look how a 4 meter wide fire line is being cut this is an external boundary of a 7 year old teak plantation Here also a 4 meter fire line is being cut in a similar way. Notice the vegetation cut out from the guidelines and piled in the middle. This is an external fire line along the road. Here too a 12 meter fire line is being cut to safeguard the forest. Here sickle is being used to cut grass and other bushes. Mechanical grass cutter like this can also be used if available to clear the fire line. Once the cut vegetation is dry it should be burned in the month of January not later than 15th of February. Burning should be done under strict supervision to avoid fire incidents extending to adjoining areas. Before burning the guidelines already cut should be further cleaned so that there is no loose leaf litter over them Clearing of guidelines is important because if care not taken fire can spread into the forest Blowers if available can also be used to clear the guidelines Blower blows away all the cut grass, dry leaves and twigs thus clearing the guideline. Before burning, the fire line is further divided into sections by cutting guidelines across the fire line. This allows controlled burning of the fire line section by section. Only when the burning in one section is complete and there are no cinders left, the team should move on to another section. This provides much necessary control over the fire. Dry bamboo can be split to make torches which can be used to light the fire line. While lighting the fire line the forest guard and fire watchers must stand alert on both sides of the guidelines with fire beaters. Fire beaters can be made locally using green leafy branches. Fire line should be burnt under strict supervision of the forest guard and forester. Men at the guideline should keep a constant watch such that the fire does not spread. Fire tends to spread in the direction of the wind. Fire watcher should remain alert to prevent the fire spreading out of the fire line. All woody material takes time to burn. They form burning cinders which remain ignited for long. All such burning twigs and woods must be collected at one place and burnt out completely. These if not burnt out completely may result in fire at later time when the forest guard and the fire watchers leave the site. Ikade pagun gaya Sheikh sahab purna tapasa aata hai kuthe visto hai ka purna tapasa To be sure that no flame remains these cinders should be covered with soil If water is available these may be extinguished by pouring water over it After the burning is complete forest guards must inspect the entire burnt out fire line for any burning cinders 
forest guard must maintain all records in his diary for protection of forests in hilly terrains fire lines should be drawn along the ridges this ensures that fire from one side does not spread on to the other this is a 12 meter wide fire line being burnt along the ridges Forester should check 100% of the work done. He should record it in his measurement book. Range forest officer should also check 100% of the work done. Assistant conservator of forest should check 20% of the work done. Important. No fire line should be burnt after 15th of February. Dry leaves keep falling on the fire lines even after 15th February. For maintenance the dry leaf litter should be cleared. For this Blowers are very useful. Precautions. Fire watchers should always carry a water bottle. They should preferably wear cotton clothes as synthetic clothes easily catch fire. For protection of forests from fire, Existing machans may be used to keep a watch on fire. Forest guards must regularly patrol the vulnerable areas. Proper machans should be made at suitable spots so that the watchers may command a good view of the forest they are watching. Water jets if available should be kept ready in case of any accidental fire outbreak while burning the fire. Maharashtra Forest Rules 1982 Protection of Forests from Fire No fire should be kindled within 1 km from the forest boundary except in human dwellings without permission of any forest officer of the rank range forest officer or above To kindle fire beyond 1 km from the forest boundary precaution should be taken by clearing a fire path of not less than 10 m width and by employing fire watchers to prevent fire from spreading No person shall make ash manure within 1 km from the boundary of forest unless giving a notice of intention 1 week before to the nearest forest officer unless there is a 10 m space clear of all vegetation capable of spreading the fire unless he takes all reasonable care to not ignite when the wind is blowing and to prevent the fire spreading into the forest any person collecting inflammable forest produce like grass dried leaves firewood timber bamboo etc shall not stack it at a reasonable distance from the forest such that if it catches fire it shouldn't spread into the forest in areas where joint forest management committees are active fire protection works must be done by the committee indian forest act 1927 article 71 mandates that all people invested with the right to collect any forest produce from either protected or reserved forest or graze cattle or any other right in case of any fire incident must inform the nearest forest officer or police officer they must also help extinguish the fire forests are public property they provide for livelihood and other benefits to people living in adjoining areas thus it is important to create awareness among people for conservation and protection of forests